Hello everyone, my name is Dorothy Chia and <clears throat> welcome to my YouTube channel Dorothy Chia Piano where I talk about all things piano learning and piano teaching. Today we're going to look at who is most suitable to learn music on a roll-up piano. Dorothy Chia. I am a certified PA trainer to teach roll-up pianos and today I'm going to discuss with you um, are you a suitable candidate to buy the roll-up piano? So I always feel that um, the roll-up piano is a, a great invention of the, uh, the 21st century. When I was growing up we did not have the roll-up piano and we just had the acoustic piano and much later on the digital piano became the rage and uh, it was I think maybe like five years ago that this um, invention of the roll-up piano came about and um, I'm so excited when it first came about that I had to purchase one just to see what it's like playing on a roll-up piano. Speaking from my experience as a teacher, a piano teacher, and I prepare students for exams, I teach students of all ages and abilities, I teach piano teachers as well as five-year-old beginners. So personally, I feel that there are some constraints about um, the roll-up piano and I'll share with you my honest opinion today. If you are an adult, and you have played piano in the past and it's been a long time and you now you are now thinking of going back to picking up piano again then the roll-up piano is a perfect choice for you with your previous technique I'm sure the touch will come back to you you get to learn um, to play pieces without a huge investment you can also um, play uh, classical pop jazz repertoire, a varied uh, repertoire on the roll-up piano. So it's perfect for adults, whether you are a retiree, a working adult, um, you are learning piano for a hobby, you are returning to it now as an adult, this is the perfect instrument for you. Why adults? Because the keys are fairly easy to play on compared to a digital piano or an acoustic piano. The roll-up piano actually is based on your um, touch response. So uh, it, even if you do not have very good mobility in your fingers or dexterity, you can still make a pretty re reasonable sounding music on a roll-up piano. Secondly, it's very good for people that wish to play piano as a hobby. Okay, and you're not taking an exam, you're just learning it to, to expand your aesthetic, your, and uh, you're playing it for fun, then this is really good. Um, in my earlier video, I talked about the advantages and disadvantages of the roll-up piano. If you haven't watched that video, I'm going to link it um, in this video. And I also talked about how to go about choosing the piano. So again, if you haven't watched that video, I invite you to take a look at that video as well. Now, who is this not so suitable for? If you are a parent and thinking that I want to start my child on the piano, but uh, I'm not willing to invest in an instrument yet, and I'm thinking, hmm, maybe a, a roll-up piano would be a good choice to start my child on piano lessons. Now, if the child is a young uh, kid, like three years old, four years old, then yes, I would say a roll-up piano can be a temporary um, choice. Now, if your child is an older beginner, I would say, let's say, five and above, and you're thinking that um, a roll-up piano is good enough, I would like to say from my experience as a piano teacher, this is probably not a good choice of first instrument 
if you are introducing your child to piano lessons and you're seriously thinking that I want to get my child to learn piano, whether it's for leisure or for, uh, for taking exams. Why? Because you want them to, right at the onset, develop good habits, uh, playing techniques. So this takes time to build, like a round handshake um, and experiencing keyboard geography. You can't learn that on the 61 keys because in terms of reference, where is middle C, where is high C, where is low C, it is best that they learn it on a full-size 88 keys piano. And the touch of a roll-up piano is very different from a real piano. So in terms of developing long-term technique habits, it is best that the decision to start your child on piano lessons is best accompanied with a decision to get them a good instrument to learn piano on. Um, the roll-up piano is a good uh, instrument, all right? But it comes with limitations. If you're thinking that you want to replace a real acoustic piano or even a digital piano with a roll up piano, then I would say that this is not a replacement. It is actually far from a replacement. Yeah, It is good for the kind of uh, play for fun, for hobby, for um, to play at night, to play with headsets on. And, but definitely, it is not an alternative to purchase the real piano. So there you have it. I hope that has been helpful. If you've been thinking of introducing your child to piano lessons, or you as an adult are thinking of piano lessons, you might want to think what is the end objective and work backwards from there before you invest in your choice of instrument. So until the next week, I hope you has you have found this helpful. I have a bonus for you and it's a few days more before the course close. I'm referring to my free online course that teach you how to play Home, one of our National Day uh, NDP song that is written by Dick Lee. And it's with great pleasure that uh, Mr. Dick Lee himself has allowed me to offer this free course to all Singaporeans, whether you are in Singapore or overseas, you get to learn this piece of music right in your living room. So I'm going to provide the link below. Do take a look at it and learn this piece. And if you ever do post it on YouTube, do tag me so that I can go there and listen to your version of this very likable piece. So I'm signing off now till the next week. Bye-bye.